Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll tell you about all the current ways you can play Hades 2 on your Mac computer. The game is still in early access and it's only available for Windows. It will have a Mac port in the future, but until then, you'll need to use the next workarounds to play it on your Mac. The methods that will be explained next are Boosteroid, Crossover, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space, don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection, or being far from the cloud gaming servers, that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual. With Boosteroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's visual quality to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. Since your experience with Boosteroid is entirely determined by the stability of your connection to its servers, we recommend testing your connection on their website. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boosteroid site, then register or use the Google sign up option, and once you're logged in, click the network test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only 2 bars, this doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection, and while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly okay for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above 2 bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top. Click on the play button and click on OK let's go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated Mac OS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox as the service seems to work best with these two. If you're looking for an alternative to cloud gaming that will let you play Hades 2 on your Mac, Crossover is your best option. This app provides you with several translation layers that can be used to run Windows software directly in your Mac OS. In case of Hades 2, you can expect pretty good performance as long as you have a Mac that has 16 gigs of memory or more. For example, on a 16 gigabyte M1 MacBook Pro, you should be able to achieve a stable 100 FPS at high settings. On the other hand, if you're on a weaker Mac, especially an Intel based one, you might be better off using cloud gaming. The first step to play Hades 2 with Crossover is to download and install the app on your Mac. As a courtesy to our viewers, you will get 10% off the purchase price if you use the affiliate link in the description. You can also choose a 14 day free trial in case you want to just take it for a spin before deciding whether to commit to the service. Once you install Crossover, go to the bottle menu and create a new bottle with Windows 10 compatibility. Then right click the bottle, select install software, search for Steam and install it. Log into the Steam client. Search for Hades 2 in your library and download it. If you don't already own the game, you should purchase it now directly from the client. Once the download finishes, exit Steam, go to its bottle, enable the D3D Metal and eSync options, and reboot the bottle if required to. After that, you can finally launch the game and start playing it on your Mac. This lets you install Windows in a separate partition on your Mac and run Hades 2 there. Note that this method only works on Intel based Macs and most of them lack a powerful enough GPU to run this game with decent performance. Still, if you're willing to give this workaround a try, here's what you can do. To use Bootcamp, first download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant app. Load the Windows file in it and give enough space for the Windows partition, say around 50 to 80 gigabytes, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. 
So those were all the current available methods to play Hades 2 on Mac. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.